welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a DIY on how to make your own fountain or tabletop fountain at home. This is very, very easy to do, guys. I hope you guys enjoy doing this. More or less, it cost me like 600 pesos. Very affordable, right? If you buy it in store or outside, it will cost you like 1,500 pataas. So it's very expensive. So, might as well do it on your own. So I, today, I'm gonna show you how to do your own fountain. So yeah, let's get started. The things you need are, the first thing you need is a table fountain pump. This is 309 and 75 cents from the DIY shop or handyman. Next thing is a tube and a clump. Uh, the tube cost me 15 pesos per yard and the tube clump cost me 10 pesos. We'll be needing also an all-purpose epoxy. This is 47 and 75 cents in the DIY shop. And you will be needing a kikil. You will also be needing pebbles. Next, we'll be needing 14.5 inches terracotta or yung saucer ng paso. This one is a saucer. This cost me 50 pesos. Next one is a 6.5 inches terracotta pot or paso. Next one is a 5.5 inches terracotta pot or paso. This cost me 20 pesos and this one is 15 pesos. Next one, we'll be needing a 5.25 inches bottom ceramic bowl. So yung nasa ilalim yung susukatin nyo, it should be 5.5 na ceramic bowl. Medyo medium size yung uh, sukat niya. And this one is 30 pesos. 5.25 bottom ceramic bowl. So yung susukatin nyo is yung ilalim. But you can also use yung ganong inches na paso type or terracotta type. This one is 20 pesos. And lastly, you'll be needing a 3 inches bottom ceramic bowl. This is 15 pesos. So, ganito yung magiging itsura niya at the end of this. First thing to do is with your um, big ceramic plate or bowl, um, kikilin nyo lang yung gilid para magkaroon kayo ng butas katulad nito. And to test this kung maganda yung flow ng water niya, just test this dun sa tubigan nyo or any faucet that you have. Check nyo kung maganda na yung flow ng water. And then, kung maganda na, it's good to go. Also, yung medium size plate natin or bowl if you prefer that. Um, kinikil ko lang din yung sides niya. As you can see. And to check it also, just run this through your faucet para ma-check nyo kung maganda yung agos ng tubig. Also, the smaller um, ceramic bowl, uh, binutasan ko rin siya, tapos chinek ko rin siya sa faucet kung maganda yung flow ng water niya. So basically, just put your kikil and then kikil it like this. Okay. Madali lang kikilin to guys. Uh, walang kahirap-hirap. So you can do this on your own. Then the next thing to do is butasan yung pinakamalaking um, paso nyo or terracotta pot with a hole in the middle. As you can see, you can also use kike. You can use kikel. But if you have a drill, use the drill. But if you don't have, just use a kikel para magkaroon kayo ng butas dito. And also check yung tube nyo kung kasha na dito. If not, kikel more. Like this one, hindi pa siya kasha. So, kikiling ko pa siya para uh, magkasha yung tube. And also, with your ceramic bowl, uh, butasan nyo rin siya. You can use drill or the kikel. And then, going back to the large pot or paso, kikikil lang tayo ng apat dito. So, here, yung katapat niya, at saka yung gilid, at saka yung katapat ng gilid. So, like this. As you can see, yung karon na ako ng kikil sa dalawang side. Tumingin ko lang yung isa pang side. So as you can see, meron na siyang mga um, slightly buta sa gilid. Next, gagawin niya rin to sa maliit na pot. You can see, meron na rin siya. Next thing to do is get your um, fountain pump. Alright, like this. Tapos may tube siyang ganito. And then, what you can do is get your tube. Tapos ipasok lang natin to. 
Kung hindi siya makapasok guys, ibabad nyo lang to sa mainit na tubig ng konti, tapos tsaka niya ipasok. ipasok. Absolutely uh, magkakasya siya. Um, just make sure na pag bumili kayo ng tube like this tube, dala-dala nyo to para matest nyo doon. So, as you can see, magkakasya siya. Then, we're gonna get our clump. Clump? Clump? Spasak lang natin ito. Para talagang walang mag spill na water. Pasok lang natin yan. And then, get a Philip or a flat top, um, flat top na screwdriver. Tapos, ilak lang natin yung clump. Hanggang mahigpit na mahigpit na siya para walang lalabas ng water. What you can do is iba, ibalik natin ulit yung ating um, tube or yung adapter from the fountain pump. And then, isusukat natin itong ating tube sa ating uh, pig pump. Kasi dun lalab dito lalabas yung water. Test it out. Just flip it over. Then, ipasok natin yung ating tube dito. As you can see, hindi siya siya. So, kikikilin lang natin to para magkasya siya. Then, with a key kill, kikilin lang natin pa. Okay. So, as you can see, lumaki na yung butas. Mas importante, guys, na mas malaki yung butas kesa dun sa tube nyo. Lalagyan natin siya ng epoxy mamaya. Then, get your big ceramic plate or bowl. Check nyo rin kung kasya. Now, kung hindi, as you can see, hindi ikasya. Ikikikil din natin siya. Get the large pot or large paso na nilagyan natin ng buta sa ilalim. At ipasok na natin ang ating... Dito ba? Dito ba? Tube. Tapos, ilahin na lang natin siya palabas. Like so. Right? Sa iyan yung ilalim. So there. As you can see. Now, ilalagay natin yung, yung pump. Dito. Like so. Tapos, isi-same lang natin siya ng uh, straight sa pasok. Like that. Tapos, Ipwesto na natin siya. And then, as you can see, meron tong wire. Okay? What you can do, pasok nyo lang dun sa binulasan natin kanina. Palabas. So, ayan na siya. Now, get your big bowl or ceramic. Ipapasok din natin yung tube. Now, what you can do, as you can see, mahaba siya. Para hindi kayo mahirapan ipasok yung big ceramic natin, i-cut na natin ito. So, I'm gonna cut this with just a regular um, kitchen um, scissor. Cut na natin ito. There. And then, ipasok na natin itong big ceramic bowl. Like so. And then, let's get our epoxy. As you can see, may kasama na siyang mix. Mixer, <laughs> mixer, at saka yung pagmimixan nyo. Just get the two epoxy and then evenly maglagay tayo dito. Okay. Kung gano'ng karami yung yellow, ganun din karami yung red. Tapos, i-mix lang natin ito. Pag, na pag mix na yung ating epoxy, lagyan lang natin ito. Para maging stable yung ating... Um, tube. When that is done, ipatong na natin yung ating ceramic big bowl. Now, i-epoxy na natin. Tapos, let's just let this dry for about an hour. So guys, this is now dry. Now we're gonna set up everything in the plate. Get your um, small paso or small pot. There. 
And then we're gonna get our ceramic saucer. Here. And then the small saucer. Here. Now, we have to make sure na yung butas natin ay nakatapat dun sa sasaluhan ng tubig na yun. Then now, let's put in water. And now, as you can see, hindi siya masyadong okay. What you can do is just arrange this by putting like pebbles here para maging side view siya and all that stuff. So, I'm gonna get back to you when this is all done. When you're done with the uh, um, sidings, yung inayos na na siya, now what we can do is put on design. So, lalagyan natin ito ng design para magmelo yung water niya. Instead of parang drastic yung flow ng water. So, we're gonna put something in here para maging smooth yung flow ng water. When all is well, now you can design this with pebbles and everything. And now, our fountain is done. So, I hope you guys enjoy that DIY. And you can also do recycling in this project. I hope you guys enjoy this how to do your own tabletop fountain. If you love this video, please do give me a big thumbs up. If you want to have more videos or more DIYs, do not forget to subscribe guys. And yeah, comment below if you have any suggestions on our next DIY. So that's it. Thank you very much guys for watching. Have a great day and happy day too. Bye!